your name. Let your name hey. Oh, we give you glory. We give you glory and honor. Oh, you are the Lord. You are the Lord. A blessed morning to you, dear starter. We are excited to come your way again. Oftentimes, we are excited because we know this purpose is the reason why God has given us life. And we pray that may this life impart your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to share the link quickly. Invite a friend, invite a brother, invite an enemy, invite a friend in me, invite all those around you and tell them that start and stay is going on and it's going to be another powerful time of 30 minutes word. And prayer. If you are ready, shout and say, I am ready. I am ready. Shout again and say, I am ready. I am ready. Scripture for consideration is 2 Corinthians chapter number 8, verse number 9. We have spoken extensively about the verse number 8. That says that concerning these things, I pleaded with the Lord three times that it might depart from me. The verse number 8, we prayed concerning the fact that we need to bring every matter before the Lord. The second prayer topic was that we prayed that we shall be consistent in coming before the Lord, even if our prayer is not answered. And then lastly, we pray that let certain things depart from our life. Clap your hands and say, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus I, declare, I declare evil, evil will depart from, from my day. Shall they say, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus I, declare I declare disappointment, disappointment will, depart will depart from my day. From my day. Evil, evil, pain, pain misfortune, misfortune will depart, will depart from, my from my day. Clap your hands and say, shall depart. depart. Shall they get and say, depart. depart. Is the mighty the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And after this prayer, the verse number 9 says, and he said unto me, so after three times the Lord finally answered him, I want to prophesy to a certain person listening to me, that if you consistently come before the Lord, Jesus. it will now be obvious that it's no more about you, but it's about his glory. Yes. And eventually the Lord will answer your prayer. Amen. Therefore, I pray in this day, may the Lord honor your prayer with an answer. Amen. May the Lord honor your faith with a miracle. Amen. May the Lord honor your faith with a blessing. Amen. The Lord will answer you and your house. Amen. Your amen is suffering from something. Amen. I said the Lord will honor you and your house. Amen. The Lord will answer you and your family. Amen. Every situation and condition you are brought before the Lord. Amen. The Yahweh we serve and we pray to every morning. Amen. Who has ears that are not hard amen. and has hands that are not short. Yes. May he hear you and provide for you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that may your provision not receive any demonic interference. Amen. I said may your provision from the Lord Jesus. not encourage counter any demonic interference. Amen. If you believe, put us together and shout in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Evil is departed from, from my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. So the Lord finally answered him and he said unto me, my grace is sufficient to, my grace is sufficient for you. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, every man that is born it's not born like what we see on, on, on the cinemas or on the, uh, in the movies called Superman or Spider-Man. Mm. As a matter of fact, even Superman and Spider-Man have certain weakness. Oh, no. We have noticed that no matter how strong you are, because you are created human, there is a certain weakness you have. Oh, Everybody is born with limitation. Mm. No man can outrun a car. No matter what you do, you can never be faster than your dog. Your dog will run faster than you. It is just a natural limitation. In the same way as human beings, we have our limitations. In your life, you have your limitation. In that marriage, you have your limitation. In that business, you have your limitation. In that education, hey, I'm telling some number. Hey, hey. In that school that you are going, you have a, a limitation. It may either be the limitation from limitation from a monsieur or a cholo. Uh, if, if you understand, you understand. If you know, you know. If, if you know, you know. Hallelujah. No matter what they do, you pass your science, you pass your math, you pass your English, you pass. But when it comes to cholo and it, and it comes to monsieur, you ask yourself, what? Yeah, the way crack crack crack. Yeah, day. Yeah, the crack day. Yeah, the crack day. Somebody shout and say, mercy. Mercy. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Amen. There are limitations. There are limitations in capacity. There are limitations in performance. There are limitations. There are limitations in everything we do just as human beings. So, the Lord was teaching Paul that my son Paul, if you come to me telling me to remove your limitations, then it means that you are asking me to make you unnatural. Adabrakada. You are asking me to make you unnatural. Unnatural, but I created you in my own image with all the limitations oh, no. and with all your strength hey. as perfect before me. Hey. So when you come before the Lord and you are praying, don't be praying and focusing. He said, Paul, don't focus on your weakness. Hey. That thorn in your flesh hey. is part of the system. Hey. But guess what I am going to do? Hey. He said, despite hey. the thorn in your flesh, hey. I, the Lord, have a certain thing called grace. And when that grace comes upon you, no matter the limitations of your life, you begin to do extraordinary things. Oh, somebody didn't hear me. No matter the limitations of your life, just because the grace of God is there, the limitation will not be removed, but the grace will cause you to begin to outdo your own self. Is somebody here or you're not coming? Is somebody here or you're not coming? So the grace of God does not remove your limitation. The grace of God does not remove the thorn, but the grace of God allows the thorn to be there. Every man will see that you have your limitation, but before they say, Jack, you will be doing greater ways. Clap your hands and shout, Grace. Grace. Ladies and gentlemen, a certain man called Prophet Elijah had a certain encounter when he prayed that rain should come. And Prophet Elijah told the king, Ahab, that run and saddle your horse and run to the gates of Jezreel because a great storm is coming. The king went down the mountain, climbed the horse and began to run towards the, the city. By the time the man would get there, ladies and gentlemen, a certain man called, uh, this prophet called Elijah had already arrived at the gate waiting for the king. The Elijah did not have five legs. Elijah wasn't a horse that had six or seven horsepower. Elijah was just a man with two legs. But he was able to outrun the chariot of a king. And he got there. He was a man with limitations. But when the grace came, he was able to do extraordinary things. Today we are praying for the grace that despite our weakness, despite our disadvantages, may we get that which we require. If you are ready to pray, lift your voice and begin to bless the name of the living God. Give him thanks and give him praise. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be exalted. He is worthy to be adored. He is worthy. He is worthy. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh yes, oh yes. Makaya Daba, we thank you, we honor you. For yet another morning, we honor you. For yet another blessed day, we praise your name. For yet another day, we declare your majesty. Banda Banda Kado Shatabaya. We honor your name. We bless your name. We exalt your name. Your majesty. We declare it here on the face of the earth. We declare you are the king. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. I stand, I stand on the basis, on the basis of, your word. of your word that says that your, grace your grace is sufficient, is sufficient for, me. for me. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Your, word your word said that your strength, that your strength is, made is made perfect in my weakness. In my weakness. Oh, Lord. oh Lord, today, today as, I pray, as I pray, every limitation, every limitation in, my life, in my life override it, override it by, your grace. by your grace. Limitations, limitations. that is keeping me from becoming, great. from becoming great as I pray, as I pray let, your let your grace override it, override it. In, the in the name of Jesus limitations, limitations. that is keeping, that is keeping. As, in as in poverty let your grace, let your grace. Override, it. override it limitations, limitations. That, is that is causing us not to be accepted, not to be accepted. By, your by your grace override, override.
Override. Say, oh Lord, Lord. override override my weakness weakness with your strength. strength. Oh Lord, Lord. override Override. my disadvantage disadvantage. with your strength, with your your grace, with your grace. grace. Lift your voice and me to pray right now. Oh Lord, override my weaknesses, override my limitations, override my limitations with your grace in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let your grace override my limitations in the name of Jesus. They might have gone ahead of me, but Father grant us the grace to outrun them. And your word came unto David saying, Hey, you will pursue, you will overtake, and you will recover all. Father, we pray, no matter the weakness of David, you are able to grant him the grace to pursue, the grace to overtake, and the grace to recover. We pray, O oh Lord, that you shall grant us the grace that overrides every weakness of our life, weakness in our academics, weaknesses in our marriages, Weaknesses in our finances, weaknesses in our lives, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let your grace override. Let your grace override. Let your grace override. Let your grace override. Every weakness, let your grace override. Every limitation in our lives, in the name of Jesus. Father, let your grace override. Lift your voice and pray. No matter how beautiful you are, there is somebody more beautiful than you. No matter how blessed you are, there is somebody more blessed than you. There is always a certain level and type of limitation that comes to you naturally. You may be less than somebody, but better than somebody on another side. But we are saying, wherever our weaknesses are playing out, Father, let your grace override. Let your grace overshadow. Let your grace override. Let your grace overshadow. Pray. Barabare kada ba ya da basha, ima kaya da ba le bran de le le ba, mashanda ba le an de le le ba saka. In the name of Jesus, Your grace, O God. Your grace, O God. Your grace, O God. Hey, bene kada ba ya da ba, beru an de bene beshanda, are kada ba le basho, mandeli an de baria kato. Father, in the name of Jesus, let our weaknesses be overridden by your grace. In the name of Jesus, any limitation of our lives, we superimpose your grace. We superimpose your grace. I superimpose your grace. In the name of Jesus. Bada baya kada banda ba, ira banda baya dada ba, rasa nda baya daba, reka da banda lele ba shana, epa ya kada banda lele ba, reka daba. In the name of Jesus, ladies and gentlemen, the weaknesses of a woman called Sarah that was showing up for to the extent that she made her husband sleep with Hagar. Ooh. And Hagar now also gave birth. The weakness and the limitations of her body and her womb was so evident. But the day grace played out. A 90-year-old man, woman delivered a baby. I pray for you. And the weakness in your body. And the weakness the doctors have declared in your body. Let the grace of God override it. Listen, when God does a miracle and people begin to doubt, he repeats the miracle again. In the New Testament, a woman called Elizabeth, also in her late years, was declared barren. And she has settled in the limitations of her body. And she was just concentrating on her life. But when it was a season of grace... Ladies and gentlemen, the barren Elizabeth, he, she who was called barren, also gave birth to a boy. I pray for you. Jesus. It doesn't matter the limitation. Yes. It doesn't matter the conditions yes. of your body. Yes. There is something called 
the grace. Yes. He said, my grace is sufficient. Yes. So it doesn't matter the medicines you have to take or not. Yes. If you focus on the grace, yes. it will override that weakness. Yes. Say in the name of Jesus. Yes. Any weakness, any, weakness, any, limitation, any limitation in my life, in my life that, has become, that has become outstanding, outstanding and, fighting and fighting my progress. My progress. Father, Lord, Father Lord, I cover it, I cover it with the grace. grace. I cover it, I cover it with, the grace. with the grace. Any limitation, any limitation, any limitation, any limitation. that men have, have come to know in my life. I pray, I pray. Let, the Let the grace overshadow it. Shout grace. Grace. My God. Grace. Oh, somebody clap and say shout grace three times. Grace. Come on. Grace. Number three. Grace. Grace. Listen, when you look at how people have become great, you look at their family, you look at where they started from, you look at where you are now, the conclusion is that it cannot be possible. Mm. But God says that when you are sure it is not possible, then there is a certain grade that is sufficient. The price you have to pay that you don't have the money to pay, there is a grade that is sufficient. If only you can provoke the grace. Say, today, today I provoke grace, grace over my weaknesses. Say, as I pray, any weakness, any uh, any, any, limitation any limitation that has dominated, that has dominated my, life, my life, my destiny, my, destiny, my, academics, my academics, my weakness. My weakness. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, let your grace, let your grace overshadow, 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 overshadow. Grace now, hey. lift your voice and pray, cowboy. Let your grace overshadow every limitation, every limitation, every limitation in my life, in your life, every limitation in your academics, every limitation in your career, every limitation in the family, every limitation. Let the grace of God overshadow, 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 overshadow. Pray. Maya, daba daba ya, rebe 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 rebe, kabran shanda maya da kade. In the mighty name of Jesus, makoberi ande ba shanda ba, akaya da baru ande shanda ba. Makoba ya kada brande, zanda ba ya kada balaba ya. Let your grace overshadow limitations, obvious limitations in my life, obvious limitations in our area, in our career, in our families, in our vision, in our dreams. Oh Lord, let your grace. Maya kada bala brande. Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout and say grace over shadow. Shout and say grace over shadow. Limitations in your life. Limitations in the family. Delays in marriage. Delays in childbirth. Limitations in the womb. Limitations in certificates. Clap your hands and say grace. Overshadow now. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. He said, My grace is sufficient. Mm. Because, my darling, mm. when you look at where they are, where they are. that you are praying to be, mm. you are insufficient. Mm. The limitations of your life, or not to cry some way. Mm. Uh, sometimes you can see somebody walking and you feel like you're, you, your walking is left left. Mm. I'm preaching, I'm preaching to somebody. Wow. You can, uh, but I'm, let me say that you can be driving something, you are comfortable. You see somebody's own and you say that is a machine. Mm. You feel like what you are. Because. There are natural limitations. No matter what, you can never be at the top and be perfect. It is only God. So they said, good teacher. Good teacher. Jesus said, nobody is good except the Father. In other words, nobody is perfect except the Father. There is limitation everywhere. But that limitation, if you commit it to God, it will deal with you in your life. Clap your hands and say, I believe. I believe.
Hallelujah. So my grace is sufficient and my strength is made perfect. In other words, the thorn in your flesh can cause you some weaknesses. When you speak the English, the English is bouncing back at you. The number you have dialed cannot be reached. Please check and dial again later. The number you have dialed is incorrect. There is limitation. And it has made you even lose confidence. There are limitations that has caused you, even though you might have been a good candidate, that particular thing has considered a bat. She is very good. She is a good marriage material. But you don't have the strength mm. to meet and deal with that bat. Mm. And God is saying, when you get to that level and you are able to call on me, then my strength is made perfect. Mm. There are battles in this life we are fighting. Mm. And Paul said, the same Paul said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, uh, but against principalities, uh, against spirit, demons, powers, mm. spiritual rulers in high places. What are you talking about? But when it comes to these battles, you cannot fight them on your own. Mm. But his strength is oh, made perfect. Yes. No wonder Paul and Silas were just singing praises. They were just singing praises, mm. but chains were falling off. Mm. Because his strength is made perfect in the midst of weakness. I don't know why you have gotten to in the life battle that it looks like you have fought but you, have, you are out of breath and you are out of strength. It is the time for us to invoke the strength of God in the midst of our limitation. When the strength of God and the grace of God came upon Samson, they said not with a machine gun, hey. Hey. Not, not with a missile, hey. but with a jawbone of an ass. Hey. He struck down a thousand um, Philistines, mm. say, my father, my maker. My father, my maker. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. This morning, this morning I, provoke grace I provoke grace into every battle, into every battle of, my life. of my life. This will be a marathon prayer. Say, oh, Lord, my God. Oh, Lord, my God. This morning, this morning I, provoke grace I provoke grace into every battle, into every battle of, my life. of my life. Psychological battle. Psychological spiritual battles. Battle. Marital, battle. marital battles. Marital battle. I provoke grace I provoke right grace. now. Right now. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, that your strength, that your strength may, be may be perfected. Your strength, your strength may, be perfected may be perfected in the midst, in the midst of my weakness. Of my weakness. As, I pray, As I pray, I provoke grace I provoke in the grace. name of Jesus. Let your voice and begin to pray. Rabba da bade. Oh Lord, I provoke your grace into every battle of my life. Bible says it's not by mind, not by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. Father, today we provoke grace. We provoke grace over every weakness of our life. Pray. We provoke grace. We provoke grace in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let your grace come upon us in the midst of the battles of our life. Let the battles we are involved in, Father, wherein our strength is gone. Wherein our strength is gone. Father, grant us grace. Grant us grace. Your strength through grace is made perfect in the midst of our weaknesses. Pray now. Abada kabare ba sonna ba ya reba nelele ba sanna ba raba kadabana Borianne berele bre kada brande le besh, jenda bada brande le kada brande le ba, roka baya daba le ba shanda, ibe kada ba le kashanda. In the name of Jesus, Father of God, let God be grace in the battles of our life. Father, the battle for marriage. Father, the battle for healing. People are battling against cancer. People are battling against diseases. People are battling against skin diseases. People are battling against eye diseases. People are battling against things. But thou, O Lord, thou, O Lord, grant us grace, 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 grace. 
when our strength is our strength is gone for the greatest grace hey 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 when we have reached our limits greatest grace in the name of I pray for you right now every battle you are fighting be it psychological be it emotional be it physical be it spiritual today I pray you have fought the battle for years and you are tired and fed up may the grace of the Lord renew you as your strength. Amen. May the grace of the Lord Amen. come upon you. Amen. Grant you the grace Amen. to be able to stand Amen. and finish your race Amen. and finish the battle. Amen. I pray by the grace Amen. you will not fight, Amen. but it will be yours. Amen. By the grace Amen. you will not speak, Amen. but you will be vindicated. Amen. By the grace Amen. you will not speak, Amen. but the Lord Amen. will cause you Amen. to receive the crown Amen. of honor. Amen. His grace, Amen. His grace Amen. produces strength Amen. that makes is strength perfect Jesus. in the midst of your weakness. Let the weaknesses hey. and the limitations Amen. of your life My God. give way hey. to the strength of God Jesus. through grace. Shout and say, I believe. I believe. Sometimes, oh, come on. Now. Sometimes end with a song or a hymn. Sometimes I end with a prayer. But today, there's another scripture that is bubbling in my spirit. Watch this. Psalm, Isaiah chapter 40, verse number 31. There are but those who wait on the Lord, mm. they shall renew their strength. Hey. In other words, those who receive grace, hey. they will feel like another human being. Hey. A barekata. Somebody listening to me who are 70 years, by the grace of the Lord, hey. you are coming up as if you are 25. Hey. You will rise on your feet again. Hey. You will challenge the life. Hey. And the next years ahead of you hey. will be better than the ones past. Hey. Shout and say, I believe. I believe. They shall renew their strength. Hey. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. Hey. They shall run and shall not be weary. Hey. They shall walk hey. and will never faint. Hey. People will faint hey. because the limitation of man hey. can take you this far. Hey. People will be weary because the limitations of man can take you only that far. Hey. But when the grace of the Lord comes upon you, hey. you will walk and not be weary. Hey. Can I prophesy to somebody? Professor. You will walk in finance Amen. and you will never be weary. Amen. You will walk in glory. Amen. You will never be weary. Amen. You will walk in this life. Amen. You walk in good health. Amen. You will not fade in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because the grace of the Lord Amen. is upon you. Amen. When they send arrows by night, Amen. when they send arrows by day, Amen. you will be walking. Amen. Because the grace Amen. of the Lord is on your side. Amen. They will catch you, Amen. but you still be prospering. Amen. They will fight you, Amen. but you still be breaking through. Amen. Clap your hands and shout, Grace! Yes. Shall renew their strength. Ladies and gentlemen, you are forbidden to give up. You have no permission from man or God to give up. Anything pushing you there, when they get you there and you feel like it is over. Ah, I remember my Sunday school. We read the Bible in our own language. And we said, when Samson was now broken in the prison of the Philistines, he shouted and said, God, give me my last power. Since I've grown up, I've never seen that scripture before. But as for us, we know that it is there. He said, Lord, give me my last power. When you are broken and you are down, mm. may the Lord give you the grace, mm. which is the last power. Mm. When there seems to be no hope, mm. may the Lord reach out to you through his grace. Amen. The last power. Amen. And may the Lord cause you to be productive, fruitful, Amen. and blessed through this day. Amen. In the name of Jesus, my name is the Reverend Kaki. Call me the Revivalist. And today, I pray for you that grace will abound. And do have a stand up day. day. I love you. You have a blessed day. You have a blessed day.